the beaver. These furry little guys are the engineers of the natural world, capable of building huge dams that us humans then stole the design for so we can make damn good puns. There's probably other reasons as well. However, this time the beavers will be stealing our ideas as they try and recreate the Mukab, a giant cube-shaped skyscraper currently being built in Saudi Arabia by the same people behind the Lion and the Oxagon. This huge structure could hold 20 Empire State buildings inside of it, but will actually just hold everything you need to thrive. So, hello fellow engineers and welcome to Timberboard. But yes, we'll be starting a new game and I'm going to use the Folktales this time. Yes, I actually called them the right name. I've been calling them Foxtails for like, well, since this game came out, I just realized that's not an X. It's an L and a K. And I guess for this, we're going to be using the planes. So we'll call our settlement the Cube. And here they are, my tiny little beaver colony. Oh, and this is the first map I ever played on. Oh, man, this takes me back. This takes me back. But yeah, right, I'm going to hit pause first. And I just want to sort of see how tall is 400 meters. Because that's how tall this cube has to be. So if I just turn on the dev tools a second, I'm just going to give myself a load of science so I can unlock any and everything. Right, that is a nice amount to unlock the levy to start with then i mean i guess i want to do i just want to see like how tall this can go so if we just go boom. so that is the i feel like that's a little bit too big if anything like 400 meters i don't know how big these are meant to be like how tall is a beaver according to smithsonian's national zoo they're three to four feet long and stand one to 1.5 feet tall. Okay, I guess that's kind of useful. So I guess if it stood up like that, it's probably like three foot tall. How many feet are in a meter? One meter is three feet, 3.37 inches. Oh, decent. Well, that's useful. So a beaver is basically a meter. Is a beaver a meter long? So essentially this, this cube is two meters high. Is that what you're telling me? Well, to get a 400 by 400 meter cube, we're going to need a lot more than that. So let's, um, let's say these these are giant beavers. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make it 20 blocks tall, I think. So that means I need to do a 20 by 20 cube somewhere. Am um, I guessing it probably should be around the district center, right? Okay, so essentially it's got to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 20 blocks long. So we're going to end up with something like that. So that looks pretty good to me. So we'll just fill in over here just so it's all marked out. So that is going to be the cube. I'm going to actually get rid of the front one and put one of those levy walls in. So yeah, tunnel and then tunnel through levy unlock that wang it there oh look so even the mods have different like types depending on if you're foxtails or folktales sorry or well, the iron teeth decent okay so on the inside we're only going to be able to build buildings that we can like stack on top of and i want to build it somewhat similar to the original so basically i think residential sort of areas went in the corners and the biggest one has that footprint but you can see it's sort of like the doors halfway up i don't know if i actually want that one yeah we've got this double one as well though so actually perhaps we could have double there single there and then maybe a double next to it and then perhaps we can do some clever like stair solution so we can keep that going up maybe perhaps but first off we have an entire beaver colony to look after. So we need essentials. We need water pumps because beavers need water to live. So we'll shove two of those down there. We will high prioritize one of them and sort of medium high prioritize the second one. More importantly than that, we need the lumberjack flag. So I'll shove that there. I'll probably do like three of those for now. Then super high prioritize those. So these should get built straight away and then our beavers will actually have jobs. So I have pressed play. We'll do path along that way and then we'll just mark all of these trees to be cut down All right so lumberjack flags are in the trouble is we've got that symbol which means we're not connected to the district center i assume because we have that in the way and we're not going to be able to build that for ages because of the planks so actually let's just delete that and we'll just path it up normally because at least we then got beavers chopping down wood which we're going to need to build all of this all right next up demolish that barrier that will give us a bit more water back here we're going to need food as well so berries over this way will be useful all right so we have gatherer flags so we can now collect those berries so we have food i'm going to need storage for all this stuff so a couple of small warehouses that store berries then i know we're going to need a dam so i may as well put that in like now and because they need to get across to 
build it, I guess I'll just do like a straight across like that. You of course need water storage. So I guess I'll shove that in the middle. Then, oh, my beavers are all sleeping outside. I should probably try and high prioritize one of these. To at least give the beavers somewhere to sleep. All right, nice. The log pumping has begun. Just what we wanted to see. Oh, and look, the house is in as well. In the meantime, I am going to demolish that because the cube needs to go there. And this row of trees because the cube needs to go along there as well. And uh, since things are up and running now, I think what I might do, I might dev tool myself all the buildings and stuff I need. But the beavers, they have to build the actual macabre themselves. So yeah, I think anything inside of this, I won't be able to build. Everything outside, I will. Because then, then we won't be waiting for too long. What the f- What is that? Tito was forced to die by an evil dev. What? That was not me. Wait, what? When did that actually happen? I remember last time I saw that, we were attacked by the blooming golems. Hopefully that's not the case this time. Anyway, let's shove a forester down there. And then we'll see. Keep planting pine trees here. We need all the pine we can get. Although I want a path along this dam. And another path out this side somewhere. Because look, I want to get to these steps over that way. Because there's lots of trees and berries up here. Now we're going to want to store some logs. So I guess we can shove one there. And then one up here. Of course, get some lumberjacks down. And we want to think about farming. So I guess I should probably farm like... I mean, down here by the dam is probably the most sensible spot. So farmhouse there. Plant load of carrots. Have a place to store them. All right, then I'm going to think about an industrial area. And I'm going to need some power. So if I mark these trees to be chopped down, then you can see water's moving pretty fast along here. So if we go into power, we can get a water wheel. And we can shove that there. There you go. That's got some power. I could even stack it with like another one. So then I can get things like the lumber mill. I'm going to need a lot of planks for all the blooming stairs we're going to need to build this. Now, the trouble with water wheels is they only work during the wet season. When this water dries up, they, this won't spin anymore. So I should probably get something else as well. Probably a large windmill. So we can shove that there. Maybe another one behind there as well. So that should start producing us planks. We are, we're short on beavers though. So, oh look, we need to get up there. We don't actually have stairs at the moment. So I do have a mod. I could use these like primitive stairs. I mean, I guess I could shove that there for now. Obviously this is inside, so I can't actually do anything to speed this up. But uh, super high prioritize that because then once people are in there, we should have some free beds. Because if you look up there, it says zero free beds. And the only way that these beavers actually produce is by having like spare beds. Now, unlike the iron teeth which use berries and water and if you've ever wanted your own engineering beaver you may have tried adding berries to water to grow your own probably without much success though what is that however i have now cracked the code and i am sharing this little guy with you all head to the makeshift site using the link in my description but be quick it's only available for a short amount of time so across the road from this we'll have that which can store planks finish now. I oh, thank you. Other things that need power are a gear workshop. I could shove two of them there like that. Add a few more water wheels and then shaft up because then we'll probably want a paper mill there and then a few more of these down that side with of course a shaft in the back end. So huge industrial area but hardly any beavers to work. I mean it's currently night time so don't worry they're not just standing around doing nothing. Although that does, that does make me think maybe I should give them some like stuff to do. So yeah let's have a campfire out there. Come on then. He wants to go in the campfire. Look at them running over. Yay. <laughs> oh, I love beavers. I do love beavers. Uh, connected to this industrial, I'll probably do like... Maybe I can make like a cheeky back alley mud bath. If I do a path like up that way, we could make it an alley by doing that. All right, nice. So that is well and truly in now. Uh, how are the beavers actually getting on? Have you built anything? Oh, look, we got some stairs and they've built a few little pieces like that. Decent. Okay. Uh, still have zero free beds and one homeless beaver. So I reckon maybe we need to do like more, more like lower housing in another corner. So high prioritized little lodge in the front. And then if we get a beaver actually making planks, then we can use normal step which are which are a lot steeper than that take up less room so that will help us get in like scaffolding up and things but yeah nice our beavers are happier than ever we've reached a well-being score of five blooming out so that's good i'm actually thinking down here i might do another farm we shove a farmhouse there and then we'll plant something else maybe some like sunflowers up there so they're going to work planting those decent because food variety is good it means our beavers will live for longer because uh, this rating will keep going up Nice. In the meantime, it needs to start building this cube up just to see like what it's going to end up like and how I can actually build it. Because I don't think I'll know how I'm going to build it until it is actually built, if that makes sense. So if we just go along doing this with all the walls. Oh man, this is... <laughs> 
This is gonna be so... So we're going 20 higher, remember? I mean, you know what? Some people might call this cheating, but I think I'm gonna... Let's demolish those. Let's just build the tunnel straight up. There we go. Same over this side. All right, then we can keep building up a little bit. Oh boy, the cube is growing. The cube is actually growing. Let's do... I think we'll just do one wall up to the height that it needs to be. Oh wow, this really gives you a sense of scale now. So... <laughs> So that is how tall this thing's going to be. All right, so we need to work out how we're actually going to build like our stuff up. I mean, I'll tell you what, I did I did actually want to do this legit with the beavers building it. I don't think it's going to be possible. I feel like that's like an entire season's worth. So I guess let's start building some of these. I'm thinking paths like that, and then steps up like that. We need some platforms so we can get to that one. Then we're basically building like a skyscraper in the corner so double lodge to the top <laughs> oh this is so big and then we just need a way to get up from there so if we went that way and did a platform there there and there then we can do a double platform and then we're at the right level yeah so essentially path comes around like that round like that and then we just got stairs to go from that level up and then that level up yeah trouble is we we can't get to that door i've just realized oops but if we did that i think that might actually work because we got the path around that way then a double set of stairs and then platforms up there so yeah path around to that point double platforms on top of everything or well, basically just double platform everything up and then stairs to go from level to level like that okay so this is going all right let's zoom oh man there's still there's still a lot to do i gotta do this in every corner as well okay well i'll see you guys in a little bit Right, so we've got our four corner skyscrapers. I just thought I'd show you how I got this down to a T. So I can do this pretty fast now. All right, so for the first level layout, you've got to do it like that. It's a little bit, it's a little bit different to the others. But once that's all in and you get your path back around to there, we literally just do the same thing every time with the double platform. So we can literally cover all of those. That gap just gets its own separate one. And we literally just fly up like that. So we go boosh, boosh, boosh boosh and then we fly up to the top as the sun's setting so that's all the platforms we need although we do just need a little one up there like that and then we put the stairs in so they literally just go on all these front ones so literally boosh 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 and then we're up the top like that and then for the path you just want to go back to that corner and then that to that corner and that literally allows the beavers to get from the ground floor up to the top floors so that is that done and now that's actually very similar to like what the what the real cube will look like like, I think like, all the corners are like residential, maybe like hotels and stuff as well. Yeah, so that's going good. Ooh, one thing I do need to keep an eye on, water is a little bit low. So let's add another log pumper down there. Get a big boy storage tank involved. Say store water, please. Um, and I think in the meantime as well, I do actually, I want to build like behind this thing. because it's meant to be like in the middle of a city. So let's delete that. Shove another tunnel there and then we can just step up to it. Nice. Then beavers can get outside. It means they can continue building that as well, which is good. And I'm mark the these trees to be chopped. Oh, thank you. All right. Oh, no. I'm noticing some beavers. They're a little bit hurt. They've got broken teeth and stuff. So in the well-being, we do have teeth grindstones. I should probably shove a few of these in. Basically, wherever we're chopping down trees, we'll have some of those. Yeah, we probably want a shower as well, actually, because that's actually good for beavers, getting their fur wet. Yeah, you never, never want a dry beaver in this. All right. So then we know how we're doing the walls. We're literally just building those up like that. But uh, you might be wondering, well, Matt, how are you going to do the ceiling because in Timberborn you can't build like over stuff surely I'm not going to fill the entire thing with platforms am I well no I'm not that would be absolutely mental actually and I do actually want this to be hollow with a roof on it so once this wall is done I will show you exactly what I plan on doing and basically it's using these guys side platforms so we'll unlock those and these are basically part of a mod but uh, you can literally just build like well we can build a roof essentially so that's those in i can't actually build like over them but that's where i can just use platforms to do like that we will have a little gap so people can come up and have a little a little wander around the top but yeah essentially lots and lots of side pieces and that should fill in the roof nicely oh this is actually going to be epic so yeah love this mod fair play you ever made it although i'm quite I'm quite bad at like snapping the stuff underneath. Delete that, delete that. All right, so last few pieces and then I just need some platforms to fill in that. So... <laughs> So that is the roof done. Incredible. And you can actually see beavers like going up and down. Sick. 
Now, if you're wondering why it's saying some aren't connected, it's because they're too far away from the district center. So if we click, it only goes to like sort of that level. So the top four, well, the top seven on that one, the top four on that one, they're all out of range. Uh, not ideal, but the devs are actually coming out with an update for this game, which is probably going to be out by the time I'm talking about this. But they're scrapping the district limits. So if you want to have a single district, that's absolutely huge. You can do that. But uh, obviously there will be consequences to that because if you have beavers like wandering for miles and miles, they're not going to get a lot done in their working day. Anyway, this is looking very, very cubish. Uh, a bit worried about beavers over here. They got no jobs. So let's just think we add another forester. So you plant some birch trees. And then back here, I'm going to need a footpath. and go up that way. Chop these guys down. Uh, I might shove an observatory up there to get a bit of science on the go as well. Uh, it does need power. So we'll shove a windmill behind it. Boosh. Connect it with a shaft and that is sorted although currently there's there's no wind so it's not quite sorted all right so that's the roof on i haven't done these walls yet just so i can like see what's going on inside but essentially on the inside you may remember like the infographic that says like there's a huge like domed screen so all the i was about to say it's so all the beavers that that's it's not made for beavers in real life that's just in this game map so all the people inside it looks like you're in like another planet or something basically anything can be projected on the walls that needs to so there is this mod down here. So what I was thinking was to use these signs to promote my channel. And so while it may not be as extravagant as a dome, it should be just as useful. So I'm just adding some more like water pumpers and farmers down here because I feel like we need variety of food. So we'll plant some potatoes, get some wheat on the go. And then since there's chestnuts there, let's get a gatherer flag. So prioritize chestnuts. Thank you very much. Then need storage for all these things and somewhere to cook them. So grill those chestnuts, grill those potatoes. Oh, I've never had a grilled potato, I don't think. A place to store all that stuff. And then we've nearly made a very functioning beaver colony based around here. We do need to add though some decoration up here. So what I'm thinking, rooftop terraces all the way around the edge on top. Better path them all up. Finish up these walls. So it's nearly blocked up. We've just got this side to do. All right, so we've just got a platform this area because I forgot to do that earlier. Place the rooftop terraces in. It might be worth adding a second district on the top. Yeah, why not? And then at all these staircases, I can put district gates in. So that should split up everything. And then we can migrate people from the cube floor to the cube roof. And then look, we got beam. Oh, they're just sleeping up here. I, I forgot to build the I forgot to build them room. I mean, they could have slept in the cube, but they, cho they chose not to for whatever reason. Anyway, that is the cube in Timberborn. What an absolute incredible feat of engineering. I uh, really, really think the, uh, the dome I've created really... <laughs> <laughs> it's a big improvement on real life, right? Imagine a world where all you saw was that. It would be beautiful. Anyway, these guys sure have a good view. So we'll leave them with that. And I'll say peace, love, and the cube. Bye, guys.